Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the star line by a pastor, coach, inventor, educator, author, composer, communicator, motivator, and father to seven children and grandfather of 15 grand with another on the way. Amazon's freebie highlights his return to coaching and God family football. We welcome head coach, pastor, Denny Duran. Hey, thank you, Sean. It's so good to be here. Thank you for having us. Denny, let's go beyond the mic. Evangel Eagles have won 14 state championships over the last 20 years, but suffered their worst season in school history. Why was it important for you to return to this team? Well, you know, I haven't been a head coach in over 30 years. Uh, I have headed up the program at Evangel. We've won 14 state championships under six different head coaches. But we reached a point where it was now a start over. And we had a young coach who I absolutely loved, but I felt that it was time for me to step back in and just bring some stability. And so Aaron Benward, who was the guy who had the idea for this show, called me and he said, what do you got going lately? I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm coming out of retirement tomorrow as a head coach and taking over this team because it's a startup. I've got 28 kids, I lost 68 upperclassmen and, you know, we're reduced to freshmen and some eighth graders playing in this tough schedule. He said, well, that's a story I want to do. And so he came in and immediately began to put this idea uh, together. And so the reason that we have God family football is because this young producer came in and he said, you know what? This is something that I feel is is a story worth telling. And, uh, you know, I have to agree with him because I've now previewed the uh, the series. And I can tell you, it's going to be a great, great thing for families to watch together. The motto for the school and team is God, family, football. How difficult was it to put this structure in some of these families' lives? Well, you don't reach them all, but you give kids an opportunity day after day, just being able to share the fact that God has a plan for your life. He's not against you. He's for you. And if you include him and if you prioritize him, he's going to bring a lot of order and a lot of excitement to every other area of your life. And then your family, your family has to be second. You got to love your mom, your dad, the grandmother maybe that raised you, uh, the guardian that is over you. you. You have to love those that have given themselves to you and you call family. And then, of course, football, which just teaches us principles that I I feel have a lot to do with everyday life. I told the kids the other day, I said, you know what? If the only thing you get here is the fact that I make you uh, show up early and get all the chairs in order in this meeting room, I said, I've I've taught you two principles that probably will follow you and help you throughout the rest of your life. Denny Duran from Amazon Freebies, God Family Football, joins us beyond the mic for Rocky Nate. Eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to mind. There is no pressure. Okay. Denny, you've coached many players that have found their way on to the NFL. Who is the one player that should have been an NFL player and you can't say yourself? Eric Jefferson should have been in the NFL. You said, quote, great miracles do not always begin with great faith. Small faith often creates great miracles, unquote. What's the greatest miracle in your life? The greatest miracle in my life is that I met a God who wants to live in my heart. Denny, what's your wife's, Deanne's favorite color of rose? Red. In fact, that's her favorite color of everything. <laughs> it was the 50th anniversary of the 1973 D2 National Championship Bulldog team last year. Have you talked with Sonny Cumby, current head coach of Louisiana Tech? And what's your one piece of advice for their season? Oh, I love Sonny Cumby. And what I would tell them after um, that exciting game uh, this past week is just keep doing what you're doing. What's your favorite verse in the Bible? My favorite verse in the Bible is John 3.17. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. But John 3.17 says, But God didn't send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved. I think that is one great moment of hope. What's your best moment after watching the final product of God Family Football? Oh, I'm just going to just give you one title, and it's in episode three. You got to watch it. The Cancun Cannon, my favorite moment. So, Danny, what do your grandchildren call you? Pop. 
How about the best round of golf you've ever shot? Oh, wow. 38 with no mulligans. One nine. No mulligans. Impressive. No mulligans. I shot a 38 on one nine. And, but let me just say this to you. I quit after that because I didn't want to make it up on the, on the second nine by playing my regular round. <laughs> <laughs> How about we sneak in a couple more? Danny, what was missing most from players? Was it heart, soul, talent, belief in themselves, or maybe belief in others? No, it's just love. It's just love. There, there is no power uh, like love. Love is greater than faith. The Bible says it's greater even than hope. And when you love these men, and you love them enough to discipline them, you love them enough to tell them a the truth, and you look into their eyes, and you also affirm them and tell them how special and wonderful they are. They're created in the image of God, and that God has a plan for their life. It changes their life in some way, maybe not radically, but I can tell you in some way it changes their life every time. How hard is it as a coach when you can't make the connection you want to with a player? Boy, I'm, you know, I, I'm just going to tell you that you know, what you just said almost indicates that you've done my job. Because of all the questions that have been asked of me, that one is the most profound. There's probably not anything that impacts me as much as when I can't break through. There are those moments I can't. But I will tell you this, that uh, I just keep trying. And that's all we can do. It's time for one big question from God Family Football, Denny Duran, beyond the mic. Danny, when people see God Family Football, what do you want them to feel? I want them to feel the presence of God. And I want them to understand that that priority, that stated priority, is something that works in their homes. It works at their job. It works even in the pain, the struggle, the greatest difficulty that they're facing. God, family, football. Sometimes people don't have a family. Sometimes that's the one that brings the most pain. That one word, family, because they don't have a family. But if you look around, you're going to find a family of choice that will be a family to you throughout your life. There are people out there ready to care for you. I promise you'll, you've just got to find one. He loves giving his wife red roses. His grandchildren call him Pop. And he wants you to see God Family Football on Freebie. Pastor Denny Duran. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. Oh, thank you for having us. That, my friends, is Beyond the Mic Shortcut. If you're enjoying these conversations, please check out another Beyond the Mic episode to find more actors, artists, and people you need to know. We'd also appreciate a like and subscribe on the Good Pods app.